Hey friends, it's Sarah here. Today I am so excited to be sharing my very first project as a Felicity Jane creative team member. Um, I am going to be putting together a traveler's notebook page. I'm actually working in my daughter's six month traveler's notebook. I can't believe she just turned six months old. Um, it still seems so crazy to me. But um, I took these on the day that she did turn six months and I wanted to find a way that I could use all of them. So I have one large photo that I'm going to use for a full page um, kind of photo. It's going to span the left side and then a little bit of it is going to go on to the right hand page. And then I also have a little photo strip of two and a half inch squares that I also want to include somewhere on that right page. Um, and then I'm also going to have a flip out which I'm going to share in just a second um, using some of the really gorgeous pattern paper from Felicity Jane from the Lola kit. So this is kind of my plan. I don't always have kind of figure things out beforehand. A lot of times I just kind of jump into the project and see where it takes me. Um, but for this one, I did kind of figure out all the elements that I wanted to include and um, kind of thought about the layout so that I could uh, make sure everything ended up on the page. And definitely not all of my uh, notebook pages are as involved as this one is going to be, um, but I really enjoy kind of opening each of the monthly inserts um, in kind of a special way. And then a lot of my pages end up a lot more simple throughout the notebook, but it's just kind of a nice introduction. So anyways, this is the pattern paper that I am planning on using. I'm planning to have the striped paper um, on the inside of my fold out and then the really beautiful floral um, I'm going to have as the outside. So this is kind of the reason why I wanted to just do this little introduction before I get started on the process. Um, I started by printing out some journaling. This ended up being three and an eighth inch by about seven and a half inches. And I left some space in between my words because I'm going to do some stamping. Um, so that's why you see those big gaps there. And I made this little pocket. I didn't want to struggle with this on camera because it's been a while since I made a pocket, even though this is super simple. Um, for some reason, I just thought it was going to be a lot more challenging. So I went ahead and cut it beforehand. And the way that I did this, I just used a piece of pink vellum and I cut it down to be about a quarter of an inch um, larger on both sides and then also on the bottom and I just used a bone folder to fold each of those little pieces in and then I'm basically going to apply some um, double-sided adhesive some really strong adhesive to those folds and then I will adhere that into my notebook um, and it will create basically a little pocket so I just wanted to share kind of how simple this is um, I think it's gonna look a little bit more complicated and it's obviously not going to be something that I do in the process since it's already done here um, but I just wanted to share how easy it is so that if you want to um, kind of put this together for one of your projects, then, um, then you can go ahead and do that really easily. So we're going to go ahead and get into the process. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and start kind of putting this page together. Okay, so first up, I'm going to go ahead and trim this large photo. Whenever I print out um, a full page photo, I make sure in Photoshop that I crop it in a way where when I eventually cut this down for my notebook that I'm not going to cut through um, like her face or any area that's kind of the focal point for um, that photo. So I ended up kind of cutting where her arm is and that's okay to me. Um, I could definitely crop it so that it's just the full page and it doesn't span into the right side. Um, but I really like how it kind of carries over um, and it kind of transitions into the next page. That's just kind of a look that I really like. So I went ahead and I did that here. Um, and then I just folded a piece of pattern paper. As you can see there, I just cut it down so it's double 
the uh, the width of one page so it's like a full page spread um, and then I'm going to adhere one of the sides into my notebook and then I will have um, kind of a fold out right now I'm just applying a very strong double-sided adhesive to the flaps on that little pocket um, I didn't use my regular tape runner um, I just wanted to make sure that I was using like a really strong adhesive because um, I'm going to have it as a pocket I'm going to be pulling out that journaling card and I wanted to make sure that this stayed put so that's why I chose just a bit of a stronger um, adhesive and then I'm also going to use that strong adhesive when I end up um, putting this uh, uh, fold out into my notebook when I adhere it down so I went ahead and I just used a circle punch to punch a little bit of that um, pocket out just on the top there and that just makes it a little bit easier for me to pull out my journaling and now like I said I left some space in my journaling so that I would be able to stamp out a couple of these little prompts um, the stamp set this month is so perfect for journaling um, and I kind of let these um, kind of lead where my journaling was going to go so I used these as kind of a couple of prompts for my journaling um, on this tag so um, I was talking about kind of the highlights of where she is at six months so the top three things the big things that are going on in her life right now which is um, eating solid foods and um, Gosh, I forget. Oh, saying Dada. She's now saying Dada all the time, like continuously. A couple of times she's even said Daddy. <laughs> and um, that she's starting to like sit up on her own. So those are kind of the big things that are going on in her life right now. And so I wanted to highlight those. And um, the stamp set was kind of perfect to bring about that journaling. So definitely loving the stamp set this month and it was fun to kind of incorporate it with some typed journaling. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere my photo onto my page. I knew that I wasn't gonna do any stamping on here, um, so I went ahead and put that down right away so I could get an idea of the layout. And I'm just gonna trim that down so that it fits perfectly on that page. And I will, I will go ahead and adhere this strip. Um, of the photo just to kind of complete that and then I just kind of played around with the placement of this photo strip um, I ended up kind of placing it up against the fold um, I didn't want to cover up well I mean I was going to cover up quite a bit of the pattern paper on the inside but I wanted to have um, that stripe kind of peeking through all these different areas um, on the inside so that's why I kind of placed it as far to the right as I could and then I'm just going to figure out where I want to put my title. So I really love these chipboard alphas. They are so fun. I don't know if you're going to be able to see from the video, but it's like a very subtle black polka dot on the white. And I love, love, love that. I love polka dots. And so these are super fun. And so I knew that I wanted to use this to spell out six months. Um, but I'm not really a big fan of adding bulk into my notebook. So what I went ahead and did was um, I actually took off the chipboard part. So if you're really careful, you can basically pull out or um, pull off the chipboard part of any chipboard element. Um, there are kind of some layers that um, build up each of the embellishments or the letters. So um, I just kind of carefully peeled those off of each of the letters. It was pretty tedious, but um, I really like kind of having a more flat embellishment in my notebook. So I thought I might place the six months as a title underneath um, where she is in that photo, but I really liked how it looked kind of on this page that's going to flip out. And I wanted to highlight the six, so I'm going to end up using this little frame that came as part of the die cuts, and I will go ahead and use that as a border around that word. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and stick down all of my letters. So the bad part about taking off the um, 
a lot of the chipboard from these letters is that it took off the adhesive. And the adhesive on these chipboard pieces is really good. I'm used to um, the chipboard kind of, I don't know, for some reason, a lot of chipboard alphas have really horrible adhesive. These ones have a super strong adhesive, which is really nice. I feel like they're not going to move anywhere on my projects. But I had to um, kind of get rid of that for um, for kind of cutting down on the bulk on those letters. So I absolutely love that cute little typewriter that was included in the die cuts and I felt like that was perfect for an embellishment on top of that vellum pocket for the journaling. And then I used these little hearts that were in the, um, they're kind of like little typewriter um, box letters and I absolutely love those. Um, I felt like just having those come up as bubbles out of the typewriter just looked really fun. Um, so I added those in and now I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to add a little title to this label. So I stamped out a date and then I stamped out I think currently um, and I ended up not really liking how that looked. I felt like they kind of um, Let's see, does that say currently? I'm not sure we're going to see when I type it. Oh, noteworthy. That's what I stamped out. Um, but I felt like they looked a little bit too mushed together. So I wanted to just go ahead and stamp out noteworthy and leave the date off. Um, I might add the date in later, but I just wanted noteworthy to be the title. So I kind of cheated here and I grabbed a different label from my stash. So this label is actually not from the um, Lola kit, but um, I just really like how that uh, looked very simple and clean and that was the last piece. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new to my channel and I will see you again very soon. Bye!